Hey guys, it's Daryl. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, glad to have you. Hope you'll consider smashing that red subscribe button and becoming part of the Dream Nation family. Have you heard the term having a bad day? It's really kind of relative, right? You may have not slept well last night. You were late going to work, so you couldn't stop by Starbucks. And oh, by the way, the coffee pot at work was broken. So you're probably saying to yourself, I'm having a bad day. But the driver of this transport truck carrying two brand new 2020 Shelby GT500 Mustangs that just crashed and flipped over, he's having a bad day. Guys, yeah, let's look at the setups. This happened just yesterday, December 17th, on Interstate 75 in Detroit, just minutes away from the Ford manufacturing plant. And so we have an F-350 pickup truck with a gooseneck trailer transporting two of the brand new 2020 Shelby GT500 Mustangs that everyone's excited about, everybody's waiting for. The one in the front, that's the iconic silver. The one behind it, that's the grabber lime green. This thing is jackknifed and flipped over. You can tell by the scrapes on the road, both probably have suffered pretty extensive damage on the passenger side. The one in front, the silver one, it's actually made contact with the Ford F-350 and its hood is all dented in, so that's gonna need much more repairs on that one. Uh, if we go to the actual photo that shows just the proximity to the Ford plant, you can see just minutes away, guys, just minutes away. These are probably, my guesstimation, in transport to a local Detroit dealership where customers who had previously ordered the car were going to pick them up, okay? By the way, they're being transported on this small type of transport, and you don't see a lot of uh, rock chip protection, cloth material over the cars, I wouldn't think that these were going out of state. I would think these are local deliveries, uh, like I said, to local dealerships, or you can see both of them don't have any type of racing stripes on them. Now we do know one of the options for this car is the uh, very expensive $10,000 hand painted racing stripe option. And that doesn't happen at the Ford manufacturing facility. It happens somewhere else in Detroit. So they could have been going there just to get the uh, racing stripes painted on. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think was the case here. Do you think this was an out-of-state delivery? Uh, inside the city transport? Or going somewhere locally just to get some of those extra options put on the cars? Now, this past weekend, I did have a chance to see a new GT500 in the flesh. Wasn't even aware that it was out yet. But at a local cars and coffee event, I saw a white one, a pretty white one. Speaking with the owners, they actually ordered this car back in July of this year. So they waited quite some time, about five months, to receive this car. And this one's probably the first one in the Houston area. Guys, I'm walking up on one of the hottest cars out right now, one of the newest cars, probably just hit the showroom a couple days ago. The Shelby GT500 in white. Beautiful. Beautiful car. Cobra, baby. Cobra. So after looking at my video of the one I saw at Cars and Coffee and looking at the picture of the green one and the silver one here, you can obviously tell, yes, they are GT500s. The black hood vent scoop is a dead giveaway on the hood. And also on the hood, the black circular quick release latches to open up the hood, they're also a giveaway. Uh, a statement from Ford, I'll read a statement from Ford. We're aware of an accident involving a shipment of new Ford Mustang Shelby GT500s. We're not aware of any injuries and have nothing further to share at this time. In quotation. So that was directly from Ford. Didn't have a lot to say, but yes, they're where it happened. Okay guys, just wanted to pass along some hot off the press information about these GT500 Mustangs. Many people are excited about them. I can't wait to get behind the wheel and actually test drive one of them. But anyway, Please share and like and comment on this video. Other people need to know about what happened yesterday. And as always, we appreciate your support. We'll see you in the next video.